All right, to make this official, I gotta fill these up with uh, some liquid. Nobody walks around with these empty in their jacket. One down, 11 to go. So how many of you guys saw the Jack Daniel and you were like, he better not waste that whiskey. But I just grabbed this for the thumbnail. I thought it would be cool. All right, so I got uh, 12 eight ounce flask made out of stainless steel. And we're gonna shoot him and see how many of these it takes to stop a bullet. I'll try it with the nine millimeter and then also a 5.56 out of an AR-15. All right, let's shoot him. I'm using my Glock 19 today. And for this test, I'm gonna do the 9mm full metal jacket 115 grain. The bullet is here. Where? Okay, the first time ever, we actually saw the bullet bounce back over here. It's still hot. Interesting. My amigo Jasparito, he caught the bullet, he saw it, so he pointed it out. This has never happened, I think. This is the first time we ever actually see the bullet bounce back. Thank you, Jaspari. So it went through the first one, out. There's still water in this. Second one, it kind of popped open the top, the whole thing. Third, fourth, fifth. I think it kind of destroyed the bottom, the pressure from the water inside, I think kind of busted it but it bent the metal right over there. It put a pretty good dent inside and that's when it bounced back. So it took six of these flasks full of liquid to stop a nine millimeter. So let's try it with the 5.56 out of an AR-15 and see what we get. So we're gonna make a slight modification this time around and open the top parts. I wanna see if the water will jump up. That will be interesting. It's not gonna be a head to head comparison, but it's more fun this way. Okay, and we're doing the 5.56 out of the MNP Smith & Wesson. All right, here we go. Okay, let me let me kind of try to figure out the order they went in. I'm gonna clean them up a little bit. Get the dirt off. Is that all of them? All right, so this was our seventh one at the end. The one of the ones we had uh, left over there. And nothing happened to this. So it looks like it went through six. We got lucky, so. It went right through the first one, clean in and out. The second one, I think this is the third one. That's all kind of deformed. I'm gonna say this is the fourth one. These little guys over here, these are the fragments from the bullet. And maybe something went over there. So that's the fourth out. And the one with the biggest hole, it looks like it went sideways right about this time. And this was the exit. And, oh, we got something here. It's the, it's the jacket from the, it's a little bit of the lid and the jacket from the uh, 556, right, right there. Not much left. It tried to come out of this one, out of the sixth one, but it didn't make it. It got stuck inside, okay. So interesting results. The nine millimeter, it took uh, six to stop and it did the same thing with the five, five, six round. It stopped on the sixth one. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed these results. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Am I supposed to drink the last part? Rest in peace, homies. <laughs> That's it, that's a wrap.